Hello, beloved ones, Dr. C.J. Adams, Dr. Goddess on Love and Life, here from my new home. I've been offline for the last couple of days in the middle of moving and getting everything back in to my new place and uh, really exploring the um, changes that are around us. And as I'm going through and putting together my new home, I'm faced with choice after choice after choice, right? Where does this item go? Where does that item go? Do I keep this? Do I get rid of that? And at one time in my life, I would have been totally paralyzed by these choices. I would have felt there was a right way to do it. There would be the feng shui way to do it or color coordinated way to do it. Matter of fact, there's no way I'd be shooting this video with this wild tapestry behind me because I would say, oh, that violates video standards. It's too busy a background, right? I would have been entirely paralyzed by my rules and by all the things that told me what was a good choice and what was a bad choice. Well, yesterday, I was Riley sitting. Okay, that's grandma code for I was watching my grandbaby. And I'm looking at this adorable six-month-old baby. She's smiling at me with her big brown eyes and her two little teeth. And I'm thinking, wow, what a miracle. I'm holding a miracle in my hands. And today is her mama's birthday. And I realized yesterday as I'm holding her, if her mama hadn't been born... I wouldn't have this miracle in my hands. So the day her mother took her first breath changed my life forever. Well, if I hadn't had her daddy, she wouldn't exist either. Well, when I was 19 years old, I decided to get married instead of going to college on a four-year scholarship. A lot of people thought that was a wrong choice. Well, if I hadn't made that choice... I wouldn't have been holding my granddaughter yesterday. So how can I say that was the wrong choice? Every experience in my life has led me to right here. I can't go back down my timeline and find one place where I could change a choice that wouldn't somehow send me on a whole new trajectory. Now, would it have been different? Would it have been more pleasurable? I don't know. I can't know that. What I can know is that every choice was the perfect choice to get me to this moment, this moment of abundance of love, this moment of fullness of heart, extravagance of the soul. So I offer you this question. What if every choice you made in your life was the right choice? What if there's no such thing as a right and a wrong choice? There's just the choice. The choice. What choice did you make? A lot of times we use judgment of choices to keep ourselves from really being responsible for conscious living. We look back at choices we made in our 20s with the wisdom of a 50-year-old. Well, if I had the wisdom of a 50-year-old at 20 years old, I would have made different choices, but I didn't. I was working with the wisdom of a 20-year-old, and I did the best I could as a 20-year-old. And it was perfect. It was magnificent because it got me right here. It hasn't been an easy journey. My journey has been colored with poverty with cancer, with fibromyalgia, multiple uh, illnesses over my lifetime, abusive relationships, rape, you know, really a lot of the things that women fear, they've happened in my life. But they weren't the worst thing that ever happened in my life. In fact, some of the worst things that could have happened to me turned out to be the best. It's what I call finding the treasures in the trash. Every experience in my life has been a treasure because I chose it to be, because I chose to go back into those moments of pain and pull out the pearls of wisdom, find the glimmers of love, because here's the reality. Our soul is on a journey. 
There's not a final destination. It's an infinite journey, an eternal journey. And the purpose of the soul's journey is to experience love in all its facets, to express love in all its many ways. Love has a dark side as well as a light side. Sometimes we have to experience the dark side of love in order to know the magnificence and the brilliance of the light side of love. If I changed one choice in my own life or in those who impacted my life with their choices, I wouldn't have the magnificence that glows in my soul right now. I wouldn't have the wisdom that I have. I wouldn't have my three beautiful children and my amazing daughter-in-law and my grandbaby. I wouldn't have the tribe of friends that spans the whole gamut from homeless to billionaire, right? From conservative to beyond liberal, right? From the gypsy to the CEO, from the attorney to the criminal, right? I have that all in my life. Why? Because I choose to. Because I made the choices that would bring me this brilliant rainbow life. Are you consciously making the choices or are you getting stuck in the paralysis of choice? If you take off the label, good choice, bad choice, healthy choice, unhealthy choice, take off the label and just make it the choice. Can you grant yourself the freedom of choice? The freedom to live life the way you want to live it? All right, my beloveds, I invite you to celebrate your magnificence today, to choose to live the life you design, however you design it, and to remember more than anything, we are one. I love you.